whenever I do get married, I'm just like, all of that money for to confess my love in front of other people. We can do this at the courthouse. what y'all all y'all saw because my I definitely was just talking and won't nothing on the screen I mean it was not recording but I am in front of this spirit Halloween store and we about to go in here and find a Halloween costume for Kehlani and Khalil because they have a Halloween party tomorrow at their daycare and I'm not really trying to go like anywhere like Party City because Party City be taxing for no reason no reason okay and they is not gonna be able to fit these Halloween costumes next year they don't even know what halloween is and then i want to go to target it is a target literally right behind me but i went into this target the other day and they didn't have anything so i need to go into target to get some fall clothes for them because y'all know how it is when you have babies it's like out of you know they usually make the clothes like three to six six to nine now they're in 12 to 18 month which is you know a six month gap but really they need to be in 18 to 20 well they're not even in 12 to 18 they're 18 month they need to be at 18 to 24 month but that is too big for them so right now they're just in 18 month which that should be good for them for the fall time because they don't grow well they do grow quick but This one for Khalil. How much is these? Uh, oh, thirty-five dollars. Y'all, I got the costumes. I'm gonna show y'all when I get home. But the prices of them costumes is crazy. I mean, I understand it. <laughs> I understand it, but it be stuff like that. Like I am that person that be thinking, like, oh my goodness, like I'm only gonna use this one time. I'm not about to spend all this money on this. But I don't have that same, like, thought process with food. Like, with food, I don't care, honey. But when it comes to costumes and stuff, like, I even think about that stuff when it comes, like, the weddings. Like, I already said, whenever I do get married, I'm just like, all of that money for, to confess my love in front of other people? We can do this at the courthouse. <laughs> jacket for Kehlani in there so right next to Target is a Burlington Coat Factory oh, oh lord <laughs> right, next to right next to Target is a Burlington Coat Factory so I'm gonna just go in here right quick see what they got see if they got a jacket but y'all saw the jacket that I got for um, Khalil that was the perfect jacket and they only had one left so that worked out perfectly so Let's go in here. Then I gotta go back to Spirit Halloween. Do they got one over here? It don't look like it. Because I gotta see if they have um a costume for my son. My other son, my eight-year-old. Mm -hmm. Okay, baby over here. Okay, both jackets. Oh my shoes are here too. Everything got me pink. 
Jesus. Let's see, do they have a jacket? Oh, this is cute. Look at this little jacket, y'all. <laughs> This. this is too cute. That's the only one I see. I don't like the blue. This is cute though. What y'all think of this jacket? I think it's real cute. Just to wear right now in the fall. Because it's not like thick at all. You know what y'all it's a party city right next door at first i wasn't gonna go to party city because i was like party city be taxing but hell the place i just went to was prices were crazy yeah i am all done you guys i was able that is the second time y'all remember one of my i had to turn around because i said i know i ain't tripping i don't know why my also my eyes always go to license plates but that's the second time i saw two different cars with the same license plate last four digits same order. I'm about to go home. I was able to get a SpongeBob, um, I mean, SpongeBob, Spider Man costume for my son because we have a Spider Man book at home. So it had to be a book character because you know they're trying to like, they, every year at his school always say it got to be a book character because they don't want it to be like. I guess that prevents them from getting stuff like getting like gruesome costumes, you know, kids wearing gruesome costumes and stuff. So they try to make it like book characters so they can make sure it's kid friendly and then they have to bring the book. Or if they don't have the book, they can write a story about it. So we have the SpongeBob. I mean, why do I keep saying SpongeBob? We have the Spider-Man book. So honestly, I need to go to the grocery store because I wanted to make the cinnamon rolls TikTok recipe that I, first of all, y'all, I don't even be on TikTok. I don't even be on TikTok, but TikTok has consumed so many people's lives that I always hear, oh, I got this recipe on TikTok and then I'll go find it on TikTok and then I'll be like, oh, I want to do that. Like, I don't think I need anything else to be addicted to. So, yeah. <laughs> um, but I seen that they had this recipe thing on TikTok with the cinnamon rolls where you pour like heavy whipping cream on it and stuff. We'll talk about it when the time comes. But anyway, I got everything. I still gotta do Kehlani hair. And I don't even know how I'm gonna do her hair this week. I really been liking the style that I've been doing in her hair because that girl is so wild. She will not put anything on her head as far as like keeping it on her head, no scarf or nothing. So she definitely is not gonna have no scarf on her head or a bonnet, anything to protect her hair that's dead. And she sleep, you know what I'm saying? Babies just move a lot. So her, and then she be eating, and then she'll touch her hair. It's just, yeah, but. I like the style that I did in her hair because even though it still, you know, looked a little frizzy as the days went on, it didn't look too bad. So, I don't know. I don't know. But I also thought about doing a mohawk on her. Oh, I'm back home as you can see. I'm about to show y'all real quick the stuff I got from Target. And then I got to get to work, y'all. The twins been asleep, but I just got a notification that they're up on the camera. So I'm gonna show y'all what I got. So I found this little cute little set. It come with the pants and sweater and it has like little hearts on it. So I thought that that was cute for her. I know I've been complaining about pink, but I saw this and I just had to get it. So I've seen this also. It's like a sweater material also and it come with the pants. And this top, honestly, Target really wasn't hitting on much for her, for real, for real. But y'all saw me pick this up. This is a Elmo sweater, and I got these pink sweats to go with it. This also, this is a set also where it's like a Mickey Mouse set. 
which I don't know if I'm gonna let her wear this one. Cause I got, I pretty much got her and Khalil the same set, but just different. This one is Winnie the Pooh. And then it has something on the back. It has, what's his name? Eeyore, Tigger, child, I think that's their name. I know it's Eeyore, but I don't know about Tigger. <laughs> and this is the Mickey Mouse one, but being that it's Mickey Mouse, I'm like, should I give this to Khalil? I don't know, we'll see. So that is all that was for her. Now for him, y'all saw the jacket. I found for him the red jacket, which is perfect. Inside is fleece lined, so that's perfect. And I got him this. He actually has this shirt already, but I just got it in his current size. So that. I got this Notorious B.I.G. long sleeve shirt. He actually has this in short sleeve, but being that it's fall, I just got it in long sleeve. And then I got this as a set. Well, actually you guys, this, uh, this Mickey Mouse shirt right here, I got these pants, which are just black sweatpants. It kind of has the, I guess this is like a waffle print on it but y'all can't see it because it's dark. So I got that to match. And then also to match the, those black sweatpants, I got this shirt long sleeve with the black collar. And then I saw they had this. This is just a cute little sweater that has dinosaurs on it. And I got these pants to match it. The pants have like a little pocket in the front. And I also saw this cute sweater for him. I thought this was so cute. And I got him some pants. Some more pants. Some same, same waffle print sweats. Waffle textured sweats, but in blue. You can kind of see it better on the blue one and then for her y'all I was really struggling trying to find shoes in there I was just like I don't know what to get but she really needed some shoes so I just picked these up are these ugly you can be honest in the comment okay let me know if these are ugly or not these are some glitter van replica shoes yeah <laughs> this is the DKNY jacket which honestly you guys I really don't it's just been hard enough to find a jacket. I don't care no more. <laughs> um, and then these are the shoes. And y'all, let me tell y'all. These are the shoes right here that I got from Burlington. They are some Pumas. They have like iridescent, the Puma sign on the side. But when I was checking out, I saw that they had this little dirt. Do y'all see that? Somebody dirty feet done been tried on the, tried the shoes on. But the bottom don't look like it's worn. So it just had to be somebody dirty feet so i'm gonna try to clean that off they gave me a discount on it though but let me show y'all what i got as far as their outfits i mean their um halloween costumes so this is khalil's he's going to be can y'all see it? he's going to be a pumpkin patch scarecrow and this is kaylani's she is going to be a little clown so you see how it's kind of similar in the style but it's two different ones they are not gonna wear that hat. For my son, I was able to find this one. Oh, y'all saw it, the Spider-Man. I see some other cool ones in there, but you know, as I said, we have a book here for that one. Ugh, I'm itching. Then I just went to Walmart and I got the butter because I need the butter for the cinnamon roll recipe. Got some brown sugar, which I saw they had light brown sugar and dark brown sugar. What is the difference? I don't know. Is that like dark chocolate and milk chocolate? I don't know. So I just was like, let me just go with the one that I used to be seeing the color dark, dark brown, you know, dark brown, black and a very sweet of the juice. Yeah, so that's it. Y'all, this is what I ended up doing to her hair because y'all, if y'all would've saw how it looked at first, Listen, I tried to do like a little mohawk thing and then my son came downstairs in the middle of me. Stop running for me, girl. 
in the middle of me doing it, I was like, this is ugly. And then my son came downstairs and he was like, mom, what did you do to her hair? He said, take that out right now. So this was the alternatives. This is the, stop running from me. <laughs> oh, you okay? That's why you shouldn't be trying to run from mommy. You okay? You okay. You okay, boo-boo. It's okay. Get up. Good job. It's okay. <laughs> All right. It's time for y'all to be. Come on. Okay, you guys. So I for sure failed this TikTok recipe. Let me tell y'all what happened. So let me pull my scarf down over my five head. I put the stuff in there, right? I put the cinnamon rolls in the in the oven. Took it out at the 30 minute mark because they said it took 30 minutes. Poured the icing over it. And then I realized I said, and then while I was pouring the icing, I burnt my hand a little bit and the icing spilled on the side. So I couldn't even use all of the icing. So then when I was taking it, like about to plate it, I was like, this not done. So I had to put it back in there. Honestly, probably for about like, shoot, 20 more minutes. And now it just don't look how it should look because the icing is like baked inside of it now. So, I definitely felt this one. <laughs> I guess that's why you're living, you learn, you're living, you learn, you're living, you learn. I am going to taste it. This has been sitting for a little bit. I don't even, Lord, you know, it's like, y'all. Mm -mm. I'm not a cinnamon roll person. Maybe if it had some ice cream with it. But, mm -mm. you know how you look at something and you don't even eat that, but it looks so good. And you just gotta try it. That's how we're looking. Okay, y'all. I'm about to lay it on down, lay it on down. I took a shower earlier with Kehlani and then I washed her hair and then I did her hair and then I cooked dinner. I only, I'm still eating though. <laughs> I only cook hamburgers and fries. Cause that's why I ain't blog it. Now she upstairs screaming cause she want to get out the crib. But I'm not gonna end the, end the vlog right now. My shirt is inside out. And my son told me that, but I'm in the house, I don't care. I'm not gonna end the vlog right now though because I want y'all to see their costumes for tomorrow. She's trying to get out that crib and she keep calling her daddy name cause her daddy be getting her out that crib. But guess what, boo? Yo daddy ain't here tonight. Only your mama here, and I don't care about that. You'll be crying, crying, crying. All you try to do is get out, you not slick. Then the moment, she be acting like something, just like she was up there coughing. Here I am thinking that something's really wrong with her. And my son go check on her. He told me some mom, it's nothing wrong with her. She's making herself cough. Yeah, she is, she, she, she done been here before. She done been here before because girl, how do you know how to manipulate like that? Trying to cough and cry. Then I tell y'all she know how to get out her crib. Y'all, let me tell you. One night we went out, right? And they were being watched, they were being babysat, but they was in a, they were um already like down for the night. So it's not like, you know, somebody constantly going in there because that's gonna wake them up. And they are at the age of where they could just be at the crib, be in the crib until they fall asleep. But even when I'm out, I still check the camera because I just wanna make sure they okay, you know? Sometimes they be in there fighting, whatever. <laughs> like even their cribs is close together, so sometimes they'll be pulling each other here. So yeah. So I was looking at the camera, y'all. While I look at the camera, and she is not in the crib. She's on the ground. She's on the ground. I'm like, I thought I immediately got scared because I thought she fell out the crib. For real, like, but I'm like, y'all, and I know somebody might lower the crib, y'all. It's on the lowest it can go. We been did that. She threw that leg. I was so scared. I was like, oh my goodness. Like she fell out the crib and cause she was crying. So I'm thinking she hurt. I'm thinking her legs broke or something. No, she just was crying because she wanted somebody to come in there and get her. But she threw her leg over the crib 
and just hopped out like it was nothing. I don't like that because to me, it's like, you hear her, she is, any chance you get that you want to get out the crib and you don't want to be in that crib, you don't get out of there. But I told her, don't hop over that crib. So she hasn't been trying lately because she know. But trust and believe, if she truly, really wanted to get out of that, it's nothing for her. But... Hey, you guys. So I have not came and talked on camera all day. It's now 5.07. And I am on my way. Let me turn on the brightness. I am on my way to go pick up the kids. So my son usually goes trick-or-treating out my sister neighborhood and so I just I was just gonna sit in the house with the twins like sit in her house with the twins while he go trick-or-treating with his cousin um, which is my sister which is my nephew pretty much well not pretty much he is my nephew <laughs> and but I am going to just take all of them I'm gonna take all of the kids they already have one their costumes might as well take them and I'm pretty sure that they will get the hint of Khalil is just so nonchalant. He don't care about nothing. Unless it's Coco Melon, his cup, or some food. That's it. Or if he want to be up under you. Like Khalil, I know you see me trying to get over. Khalil will, um, like say for instance, is this little tiny itty bitty space. He will make his way into that little bit of space and sit right on down. He don't care. He do not care. But Kaylani, once you, once she, she, she's not gonna be able to say trick or treat. She might try, but um, once she fits herself into, like, I mean, once she sees the process of it, she'll probably just hold out her bucket. But I don't even have a bucket, so I'm gonna have to stop by Dollar Tree or something and see if they still have buckets out there in the stores. So we will see. Honestly, my son don't even need all this candy anyway because he is about to get braces in November. Y'all ready to go trick or treating? <laughs> we coming. Where they going? I don't know. <laughs> you you done ate a lot, huh? I bought them early. Say trick or treat. Oh, trick or treat. Oh, two of y'all. Okay. Yep, two. <laughs> Oh, okay. You said this one is. I had toys. I had toys. Help yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Check a tree. They're giving out Pokemon. What a good house. Oh, the wee ones be locked up. That's a baby. Mom She's telling the baby to cover her mouth. No Hi you guys. So I'm actually talking to you the day that this vlog is gonna go up. And I just wanted to end out the vlog because I didn't. The last clip that y'all show is us going trick-or-treating, which the twins they got plenty of candy. I don't even know where their bag is. Oh, right here. 
Well, all of the all of the kids got plenty of candy. Y'all know I got my scarf on because I always got something on my hand. <laughs> but I went to the gym this morning and I did the body balance class again with my friend. So yeah, I just been here like editing and yeah. So they got all this candy, you guys. They got plenty. Somebody did give out like baked cookies. Mm-mm. Won't do that. Won't do no homemade baked cookies. No, 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 no. But nonetheless, I did not even allow them to get out the crib while I was trick-or-treating with them because for one it was just too much y'all it would have been too much taking them out sitting them back down taking them out sitting them back down they would have been all over the place trying to pick some out the grass crying because they didn't want to get picked up crying because just too much and then the neighborhood and my sister neighborhood they don't have sidewalks so it's like instead of trying to push them on the curb i was like kind of pushing them on the side of the street and then i would lift them up on the curb then every house have a step up to get to the door too much so anyway nonetheless the kids the older kids loved the candy noel kept stopping to eat the candy i'm like boy if you don't come on but i wanted to formally and now this vlog you guys listen this is the last day of vlogtober i know i missed a couple of days but y'all next year i don't I, if, if my life is going to be different next year my life will be different next year so next year hopefully i will be in the position to where creating content is my full-time job it was a little hard to do it while still working not more so being a mom because i can still make that into content but it was just like yeah like trying to still work and you know, just, it just was a lot. If you if you still work a job, I'm sure you understand. But next year, I'll be in a position to where I'm doing this full time for a living. So I won't have to, you know, just <laughs> be boring, okay? Um, but I appreciate y'all for sticking with me. I appreciate everybody that, even if you left one comment on one video or just one, like whatever you did, Whatever you did to support me, what if you just clicked on the video to watch it, I appreciate it. Everything is support from watching it, liking the video, leaving a comment, anything that sharing it with somebody, like it is support. And I appreciate y'all. I really do. So I love you guys. I do not know if I'm gonna be doing vlogmas. <laughs> Baby, this is a little bit too much, but yeah. So I just love y'all so much. I don't even know all of y'all, but I just love like the fact that you took the time out to support me, that just means the world to me. It's, you know, I I put a lot of time and energy and money into creating content or buying stuff to be able to create content. And you just taking the time out your day is enough for me. So with that being said, you guys, this is the end of Vlogtober. so happy okay y'all just don't know because listen baby editing every day blogging every day whoo i can breathe okay so if you are watching this video and you are not subscribed go ahead and subscribe support your girl it's free 99 free okay if if you feel compelled go ahead and support your girl and um the next video will be up sunday which is this upcoming sunday which is november I think it's November 6th. So I will see y'all then. Bye, you guys. <laughs>